A question that often often comes back in this universe online is how do you make money in this universe online? We're going to try to answer that question today. Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So today I will try to give you the short and the long answer of how do you make money in this universe online. I will give you the short answer and the long answer. The short answer is pretty simple. Learn to use the broker and actually use a broker. There you go, you got the secret on how to make billions of dollars in this universe online. And sadly, the only real way to learn how to use the broker is to actually use the broker. Uh, you have to use it to learn how to use it. It's sad, but uh, that's how it works. Uh, because the more you use the broker, the more you will learn the prices of the items. And also, I guarantee you at some point, you will make a mistake. Uh, I guarantee you that uh, if you do like I did way too many times, like uh, you, you, you farm at the, you, you play the broker at the 3 a.m. You know you should have been gone to bed two hours ago, but you still want to sell one more item. And then you end up uh, clicking on a button too quickly and you sell, uh, you sell an item uh, that's worth $100 million for $1. I did that uh, at least once. And uh, you, you learn from that. You, you, learn, you learn from using the broker. And sadly, in order to be able to learn, you have to use a broker. And you will make mistakes. You will uh, sometimes uh, sell an item for $1 because you're too tired and you should have gone to bed. Or sometimes you will, uh, you will sell an item for half what it's worth because you didn't really know the price or you, you didn't evaluate the price properly. It happens. Just learn from it and move on. And often, the question that people have is, what can I sell on the broker that's valuable? There's no single answer to that. The, 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 that answer changes all the time. There's items that used to be worthless that are now worth uh, millions of dollars. And there's items that used to be worth a lot of money that are pretty much worthless nowadays. There's a point in time where we, we could farm and farm for exhibits and so I sell those exhibits on the broker for a, a nice pile of cash. Uh, sadly, that time is behind us. And there's some items that used to be worthless that now are worth uh, quite a lot on the broker. Like some time ago, some people were surprised that I had uh, all those uh, chromo materials. And uh, basically a lot of those chromo materials, uh, when I purchased them, I purchased them for like uh, 1.5 millions on the broker. And now for most of them, I can sell them for like 10 millions if I want to. And there's some cases where I can sell them for a lot more. Although in the case of the steel neon chromo material or even the golden neon chromo material, I would purchase them for about 10 millions on the broker at the time. So basically I would wait and wait until, the uh, until there was some steel chromo material at 10 million. If I saw some at 10 million or even less, I would purchase it. And for other materials like uh, the quartz neon chromo material, I purchased a couple, but uh, I could have purchased a lot more. But I, when they were 1.5, when we, some, in some cases even 1.2 million, I would purchase at least a couple. So what you do then, you wait and wait and wait, and eventually you sell them back at 10 times their value. That is pretty much, often I mention uh, playing the broker, that is more or less what I mean. You purchase something at a low price, and then you sell it at a higher price later down the line. It's a bit tricky because items, prices, I have to give my usual broker warning, I guess. Prices on the broker changes all the time. Sometimes items will be worthless and they'll go up in value. Uh, sometimes items will be valuable and then something happens and they're, they're, they're no, they're pre they pretty much become worthless. There's items like the flash of speed threads. Uh, these, as you can see, are pretty valuable right now. There's a point in time where you could purchase them for one, two millions on the broker. I guess at some point people pretty much stopped uh, farming for them so you can see the value went up and there's also times when the events that happens that also raises the value of the flash boots uh, one of those is whenever we get a new flash cowl the value of the flash boots goes up because then there's a lot more the the demand goes up with the flash cowl like when when they added the flash cowl to the marketplace uh, the, the price of the boots went way up it was up for a while then it went back down uh, and now they've added a new flash call to the to the uh, flashpoint time capsule and you can see once more the boots are valuable so we got a new flash call right now which drives the, the, the demand for the boots up so it drives the prices up but it could be after a while the prices will probably go back down and that's usually what happened in the past when we got the, the flash helmet the price went up and then went back down when we got the flash emblem the price went up and then went back down 
when we got the flash call, the price went up and went back down. And I assume the, the same will be true here. So we got a new future flash call. So you can see the price of the boots went way up. But I guarantee you after a while, the price will go back down. So if you have some flash boots, now would be a good time to sell. And then in a couple of weeks, months, when the price goes back down, you could farm and farm and farm for those boots and then keep them in your bank until the price goes back up. But there's no guarantee that the price will go back up. And sadly, that's why I sort of call it playing the broker. You never really know. You don't know if uh, the item you're purchasing right now will be more valuable tomorrow or if it will go down in value. You can sort of guesstimate, but you never really know. So whenever people ask me what, what items are valuable right now, the one uh, tip I would suggest is just go to the broker and put the item by price descending. It will give you a hint of the valuable items right now. Like the avatar of War Cape seems to still be pretty valuable. The red metallic material still seems to be, still seems to be valuable. So the bioluminescent material, the umbral aura. So you can see what items that are, that seems to still be somewhat uh, valuable on a broker. Oh, red metallic material. And also you may be wondering, uh, if I know how to play the broker, how come I'm always broke? And you're going to see why right now. Uh, I created a new character that could use the red metallic material. So there we go. Sadly, for a long time, I would spend my cash as quickly as I would earn it. There were so many items that I needed on the broker that uh, trying to gather some money was challenging. And that's probably the case with you guys. Yeah, there's probably, if you started playing this universe online not that long ago, there's probably a billion things you want to buy on the broker. So my guess is as soon as you reach uh, 200 million, then you, you purchase the item at 200 million that you want to purchase. So if you want to see the items that are valuable, like the black and white neon promo pack, holy crap, that one that people were, were fighting over that one like quite some time ago, or the avatar of Warkeep, uh, don't just trust, don't just trust the, this is the most expensive one. Uh, just take a minute to check, there might be a cheaper one. Let's find out. Uh, so that seems to be the only one. And you can see also at the same time the avatar of peace uh, mask. Uh, sadly, these aren't really items you can farm for. Usually to make some cash early on, I would ask people to, I would tell people to farm for collections. There are certain items that you can farm for, like you can, you saw the flash boots, you could farm for the flash boots. And there's also the Mystic Lantern Fragments. Right now we have the Halloween Seasonal. So you could farm and farm and farm with a whole bunch of your characters, and you could make roughly 50 million if you sell the Mystic Lantern Fragment on the broker. There's other items you could farm for, like you can see right now the Batwoman Cape, there's no Batwoman cape on the broker. And we got a new Batman emblem not too long ago. The Flashpoint Batman emblem. So I guarantee you that probably also drove the demand up. And usually that drives the price up. So right now I would safely say if you farm for the Batwoman cape, for the Flash boots, uh, for the Mystic uh, Lantern Fragment from, for, from the Halloween Seasonal, these are, I these are items you could farm for to make a bit of cash right now. But usually what I suggest is to farm for collections. And uh, that's, that's what I did uh, early on for quite a long time. That's what I would do. I would farm and farm for collections. And then I would sell those collections on the broker. The, the advantage of farming for collections is that usually there's one, there's a couple of uh, very valuable collections that you can get. And even if you do not get the valuable collections, like if you farm and farm for the flash boots, sometimes you could farm a whole day and, and never get the flash boots. So you've spent a day of farming and, and didn't make any cash from that. As opposed to if you farm, let's say for collections, uh, yeah, you may, it's possible that you could get none of the very rare and valuable collections, but you could sell a whole, you could sell a whole bunch of collections at, at 10,000, 100,000, 200,000. Is in the, it seems silly, but if you sell 10 collections at 100,000 each, you made a million dollars. And if you spend a whole day farming for collections, I guarantee you, you will sell a lot, a lot of collections that day. Also, people seem to think that you just farm for one collection and sell that one collection on the broker for a billion dollars. It doesn't work like that. You have to sell a lot, a lot of collections in order to build up your cash. You can see items sold, items sold. So as you can see, I sell a lot of items on the broker. 
that is how sadly you make money in this universe online you don't just sell one item yeah you could get lucky and get the the black the black neon chrome material and sell it for a billion dollars on a broker the odds of that very slim i guarantee it one mistake that i see a lot of people doing is that they seem to think that if they open a thousand time capsules they will be rich that way they will sell their stuff uh, from the time capsule on the broker and they will be rich unless you get the really really valuable collections like the let's say the, the rare collections for the void material collection that's not gonna happen if you don't get lucky on the broker you could end up buying uh, opening a whole bunch of time capsule and not making that much money from those time capsule so again one way would be you purchase something let's say for 1.5 million on the broker And then you sell it back for, uh, let's say, 9 million on the broker. There's no guarantee it's going to sell. After a while, you get a sense of how much you can expect to ask for certain items. Sadly, there is a learning curve in, in using the broker. You have to be willing to sit down and figure out how to sell on the broker. Obviously, early on, you have no idea of the value of the items, but the more you sell items on a broker, the more you get a sense of how much you can ask for specific items. And sometimes you'll see people asking 100 millions on, for an item. That doesn't mean that you can sell it for 99 millions. Uh, quite the opposite. Like sometimes people will ask for 100 million for, for an item, and they'll never sell it at that price. Uh, sometimes you realize that uh, they're trying to sell an item that's worth at most maybe 10 millions and they're trying to sell it for 100 million they could get lucky and somehow decide to purchase it because uh, they have no other choice at the time but sometimes people will overvalue certain uh, certain items and sadly the only way to really know that is through experience if you've seen that item for sale a thousand times at 10 million and then you see one person asking for 100 million odds are that item will, will not sell I mentioned uh, the, the Halloween seasonal, so we got a whole bunch of new collections for the Halloween seasonal. So these are things that you could sell. Uh, at the start of the seasonal, the items are, are worth a lot more money. And later down uh, during the seasonal, they're worth not as much. So that's also a way to make money in this universe online. Like early on when we have a new DLC, there are items that will be worth a lot of money at the start of the DLC, but that is, as we go further and further into the DLC, uh, the same items will not be worth as much money. So there's a bit of a cycle in when to buy items and when to sell items. Uh, for example, during the week, there's a cycle during the week. Uh, if you try to sell an item Monday morning, probably the worst time to try to sell an item. There's barely any people logging in. Uh, there, there's not as many people logging in, so you won't be able to get the if you want to get a high price for your, for your item monday morning is probably the wrong time to do that if you try to sell the same items thursday uh, after after supper uh, you'll probably have a lot more people interested in buying that item the, the demand will be much higher so you should be able to resell it for a lot more on thursday night so early in the week not a good time to try to sell items later in the week thursday friday saturday when there's a lot of people online that's a good time to try to sell those items but the same the same also throughout the year uh, during summertime there's not as many people as during the fall so if you try to sell uh, valuable items during the summer uh, you won't get as much luck as much luck as if you wait during the fall but then again that depends on on the items like uh, we got the wonderverse dlc during the summer so when you, we get a new DLC, usually early on in that DLC, there are items that will be uh, that will be valuable. So you farm for items during the, the summer for the Wonderverse DLC. Like when the Wonderverse DLC was added last summer, that was a good time to farm and farm for items from the Wonderverse DLC and then sell those items on the broker. By now, the prices of the items from the, from the Wonderverse DLC probably went way down. So you won't make as much money now as you would have made uh, when the, the Wonderverse DLC was brand new. And the same is true for the Halloween seasonal, for, for the various seasonals. We had the, the summer seasonal. Early in the summer seasonal, there's items that will be valuable. Towards the end of the seasonal, not so much. But then some items that were not very valuable towards the end of the summer seasonal. Then by the, by the time fall comes by or, or, su or winter comes by, those same items are much more valuable. Because a few months later, a lot of people will try to purchase those items that they missed during the summer so there is a cycle throughout the whole thing 
but sadly you have to learn the cycle by playing the broker it's sad but that's usually how it is and also during the summer again usually there's there's less people logging in and then when the fall comes by oh a lot more people come back like when we had uh, batman day not too long ago a lot of people came back just for batman day for a week or two we had a lot more people than we had before thanks to batman day and now we had the halloween seasonal that also brought back a whole bunch of people and then when we have the new uh, legion dlc coming up i guarantee you when the new legion D dlc comes up uh, there will be a lot more people coming back and also there will be a lot of new items we're going to be able to farm a whole bunch of new items for the legion dlc that we should be able to sell for for a bit of cash and then afterwards there'll be the summer the, the winter seasonal when the winter seasonal comes around again there'll be some new stuff for people to sell uh, it will probably bring back uh, some people that somehow didn't log in for a while so there is a cycle during the week there is a cycle during the year and there's also a cycle during a DLC. Early on in the DLC, you can sell items for a lot of money. Some items will go up a bit in prices if the demand goes up. Uh, the Dark Robin is probably a good example of that. But then as time goes by, the demand will go down and the prices will go down as well. So usually what I suggest is farm for collections. That's, that's pretty much the best option I have in order to be able to make some cash in this universe online. Yes, if you do not get the valuable collection that's uh, 5 10 million dollars, you can still sell a whole bunch of collections at 100 million dollars. Again, if you sell 10 collections at 100 million dollars, you made a million. You sell 100 of those, you made 10 millions, and so on. Sadly, you have if you want to make money, you have to put in some work. It's 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 sad, but that's how it is. So here I, I spawned right in front of Superman's uh, statue. I will show you a couple of places where I go farm for collections. So you can see the evil villain safe house. If you just go behind it, there's a little area over here where you can farm for the collections for the Mr. Miracle Cape. Uh, sadly, I think you have to own Alls of Powers Part 1 or you have to be a legendary player to be able to get those collections. So if you are a free-to-play player or premium player that do not own uh, Alls of Power, uh, then this probably isn't a good option. I'll show you a, a good option for free to play player in just a minute. And sadly, at the end of the day, there's no miracle. You just have to look around for collections and gather those collections. So you, sadly, you have to put in the time, which is probably one of the reasons why a lot of people don't have money because they're not willing to put in the time to farm for money. And very often people will ask for money. I, you, I'm sure you've seen a lot of people that will... Uh, Bag and bag for cash. Uh, we sold the collection from our friend Spawn. So you can see there's our friend Spawn here, which seems to be uh, farming for collections as well. Uh, let's give him a little bow. So sadly, we didn't get a Mr. Miracle collection, but we're still going to be able to sell these collections on the broker in just a minute. Uh, I'll show it to you uh, when we do. So at the end of the day, there's no miracle. You have, you just have to fly around and look for those collections. After a while, you will know where those collections spawns. No reason not to pick up a free exhibit. After a while, you will know where's the, where those collections spawns. But then if you, if you need to, you could use a radar and answer. I'll show it to you in just a minute. When we'll farm at some other spot. Uh, sadly, for a while, uh, collections don't seem to spawn as much or as, as quickly as they used to. Could just be me. Maybe I'm just getting old and misremembering. But the last few times I farmed here, uh, it did seem that collections did not spawn as much as I remembered. Although it could be, uh, there's also a cycle during the day. Sometimes uh, collections don't seem to spawn as much. So I farmed here for uh, quite a while. So that's why I pretty much know where all the collection spawns. So there's no miracle. You, you go where, the, where you know the collections spawn and hope to get them. Although in this case, as you saw, there's probably our friend Spawn who's also farming for them. 
So it could happen sometimes that you're competing with uh, other players for the same collections. And yes, I know it's hard work. I, I've, I've done it thousands of times. I know how, how it is. So that's why when people ask for cash, like sometimes people will say, oh, give me a hundred millions. Well, basically what they're asking is that they're asking me to give them uh, 30, 40, 50 hours of my time that I spent farming for collections. Oh, here's our friend Spawn again. So as you can see, there's me and Spawn farming in the spot. So uh, let's go elsewhere. I don't want to steal all the collections from our friend Spawn. But here you can see we got the, the crumple uh, Granny's training manual. We'll take a look at how expensive it is on the broker in just a minute. We're going to go to another spot to farm for collections. So a good place to farm for collections would be around Steelworks. Now let's pick up our free exhibit. a bit. So around Steelworks we will have collections. Uh, there's some amenities that you can get for free where you need to gather collections. I made uh, I made videos about those uh, those amenities. So if you want to know which collections you need for which amenities, uh, just search my videos. I've already made a video about that. But in this area, there's at least two amenities that you can get the collect collections for here. And usually those collections are somewhat valuable. Obviously, it's uh, if you don't know where to go for those collections, if you don't know where the spawn points are, uh, there's a trick that's quite simple. There's some radar and answer that you can use if you really don't know where the collection spawn. I usually get a couple, when you level up a new character, usually you'll get a couple of uh, radar and answers for free. So you could use those in one area. So spot an area where you think you could farm for collections. Use one of those radar and answers. And it will show you where the collections are. And after doing that two or three times, you should be able to then know where the collection spawns. So again, we'll go to the broker uh, after. We'll farm uh, at least for a few minutes here, and then we'll go to the broker to to see uh, how valuable the collections we found are. And sadly, I understand it is time consuming. Sadly, there's no miracle. You have to take the time to farm and farm and farm for items, and sell those items on the broker. Sadly, that is how you make money in this universe online. That's how I made my cash in this universe online. That's how I built up my cash at first. Again, I know that I don't seem to have that much cash. Uh, the sad thing is that uh, there's always... I have I have a lot of characters. So there's a lot of styles, items that I want to purchase for those characters. And sadly, as you can see, we don't see a lot of collections right now. Uh, the spawn rate... I don't know if they changed the, the spawn rate of the collections. Or if I'm just not uh, lucky lately. But we don't seem to have uh, as many as many collections as we, as we once did. It's sad, but that's how it is. So again, usually when people ask, uh, hey, give me um, $100 million, what they're saying is that, hey, give me uh, 50 hours of your time that you, you've spent farming for collections. And usually the idea is that uh, they, 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 they cannot waste their time uh, farming for collections. But it's okay if you waste yours and then give them uh, the money you made from farming for those collections. So usually I don't answer when people ask for, for that kind of stuff. Or when I do answer, the answer is usually the answer is usually no. Because they don't seem to realize what they're asking for. No, oh, let's pick up the free collection, the free uh, exhibit first. I guess I missed it. Oh, there it is. So ideally, I would suggest to to focus on a smaller area. But as you saw, the the collections don't seem to spawn quickly enough. So you may have to broaden the area that you're farming in. Uh, if you go through a small area and somehow you don't get uh, as many collections as you would like, 
uh, just uh, just extend the the area that you're searching in. Again, it could happen that you choose a time where other peoples are far farming for the very same collections you are. Uh, sometimes that happens. Uh, let's ignore the freaks a bit for now. What we're really focused right now is uh, on the collections. So again, we got some collections from the, the Halloween seasonal. And one of the good thing uh, farming during the seasonal is that you get both collections. You get the, the regular collections, and once in a while you'll get some uh, some Halloween collections or some seasonal collections. In this case, it's Halloween. But again, sadly, there's no there's no miracle solutions. You have to be willing to put in the work, and usually people people aren't. So that's why they're asking you uh, to farm for them. And in this case, you can farm here, even if you're a free-to-play player, premium player, doesn't matter. You can farm for those collections. So as you saw, I think there's someone else also farming here. Oh, I guess it's downstairs. Been a while since I farmed here, so... Usually I'll farm for the Mr. Miracle collections if I really need cash, but this here is, go is a good spot as well. And again, if somehow you don't sell the valuable collection, if somehow you don't get the valuable collection at like 10 millions, at least you'll sell a whole bunch of 10, 10 millions, 100 millions. Also, you can hear the noise that the collections are making. So if somehow you, you decide to farm, but you don't have any radars, just put the volume uh, to the max and also wear headphones headphones helps quite a lot so if you wear headphones and put the volume fairly loud you should be able to hear the collections even if you don't have even if you don't have a radar and answer that will help you find those collections so as you saw there's someone else also farming here so that might explain why we're not seeing that many collections So sadly, sometimes you have to compete with other players, and this would be uh, one case where sometimes when you farm for collections, other players are doing the same. I wish I could tell you farm for collections in a specific area where no one else uh, farms for them. Uh, there's, there's no such thing. There's some areas where I would suggest not to farm for collections. Uh, Arkham Island would be probably the best uh, example I can think of. Don't farm for collections in Arkham Island. You, it's a uh, it's not a good idea the, the collections spawn very very rarely and it's a pretty big area to cover uh, there are times when i farmed uh, for 15 minutes even using a radar on, on arkham island and i i i would not get a single collection so i guess the one place i would tell you not to farm to is arkham island but there's a lot of other places where you can go to farm if you want to Also, if you're fairly new to the game, uh, the radar should allow you to be able to see briefings and uh, investigations. But ideally, the radar lasts for 15 minutes, so you may decide to focus on the collections only.
Could have sworn I saw one here, but I guess our friend uh, picked it up. Uh, it happens. Again, if you see someone, if you see that there's uh, people farming where you are, uh, you can go to another spot. Of course, if you're looking for a very specific collection, then you may not have that option. So you're going to have to hope to be able to get the collections before your friend does. Let's pick this one up. Oh, no! Oh, that happens. So again, I know it's it, it's time consuming, but that is how you, that is how you make money in this universe online. Uh, some people seems to think that you, what you could do is that just uh, purchase time capsule, open them, and sell the stuff from uh, time capsules on the broker. Uh, unless you're really lucky and get the valuable stuff from the time capsule, you're not going to make that much money from time capsule, or you're gonna have to buy a thousand time capsule, even if not more, to be able to make uh, enough cash. Often people will do that. Uh, they'll they'll get some rare item from Time Capsule. They'll decide to sell it on the broker right now, and they figure they can uh, they can buy it back at a cheaper price later so down the, the line. The time which is, is often a, true, I guess. A bit of but a uh, I made that mistake yes, once with some, the, really lucky, uh, the Phoenix material. I got the Phoenix material. Yeah, I figured really ah, I'll sell it now and I'll buy it later uh, uh, if you guys at a half the price or cheaper. Uh, and then. That when was I a big mistake. The, the I never was materials. able to buy it back. I was uber lucky and got the neon for more material twice. But that was being uber uber lucky. That I guarantee you that never happens. And also, let's assume you do get the rare item. Are you are you going to want to sell it or are you are you going to want to use it on your character? Uh, personally, I I I want to have those styles, so I did consume those materials. So if you want to consume, if you want to have the styles, obviously you're not going to sell them on the broker. Or if you sell them on the so broker, so for the Phoenix material, then I was never the able to purchase it to purchase, uh, to purchase the collection from the broker or to the purchase the material itself from the broker. So I had to bite the bullet, and I ended up uh, buying it from Booster Gold. So again here we got the collections, uh, the Steelworks collections, and some Halloween collections. And sadly at this point the Halloween collections are probably not worth uh, that much money. The better option for the Halloween collections right now is probably to farm the Halloween seasonal, and then uh, purchase the rare collections from the broker, and then sell that collection on the marketplace. And right now you seem to be able to make roughly 50 million from that collection. Let's pick it up. We're right here. So ideally, you want to maximize your your radar at this point. 
but uh, we were right there so uh, I usually say uh, don't pass up a free uh, a free exhibit exhibits used to be a good way to make uh, some cash in this universe online uh, sadly for quite some time now uh, it hasn't been quite as true you can still sell them on a the broker but way back when we, you could sell a stack for quite a few millions and if you were uh, patient enough to be to do a lot of farming you could sell a lot of stacks But nowadays, uh, the exhibits are not worth what they used to be. So it's a bit more challenging to build up your cash with uh, with those exhibits. I love those little robots. There's a mission if you play an evil villain where you can transform into one of those robots. I love that. I used to turn in it to transform into that robot and then to attack your players in the open world. And they, they didn't know where the attack was coming from. They didn't realize that uh, I was disguised as a little robot. At least uh, for a while. So again, we got some Halloween seasonal in addition to the Steelworks collection. Ah, the memories. So again, you could decide to stick uh, close to, to Steelworks. But again, if the collections don't seem to spawn as quickly enough, or if you have people competing for collections uh, in the same area, uh, you, may, you may want to extend your search a little bit. Oh, and I guess we're done. So let's go back to our lair and let's use a broker. So let's find out how much we can make on the broker right now. Also, often people ask, how much can you ask for your items on the broker? As much as you can. Uh, as I often say it, prices on the broker changes all the time. So just take a look at how much the item is, is uh, worth right now. So you can see the Discipline Gauntlet, 1.9 million. I didn't expect that. So let's try it for 1 million. And the Discipline Gauntlet isn't even a rare item. Uh, you could get uh, easily uh, quite a few of them if you farm uh, for quite a while in that area. Although there's probably not that many people farming right now, so that might be why the, the item went up in value. Although as you saw when we were there, our friend Spawn was farming as well. So let's take a look at our other collection. So Granny's Training Room, 3 million. So let's try to sell it for two. I say try because you never know. It could be that the demand isn't really there. It could be that someone else undercuts you. You never know. So for the research data, we don't have a price. Uh, so we'll come back to that one. Now sometimes if you do some of your other collections, it'll give you a rough idea of how much you could ask for the collections that have no prices. So you can see the Brainiac Electrode Data Matrix, 30,000. Now let's go for 20. Ace of Club, 24,000. We'll go for 15. It's a pretty old collection, and I, there probably isn't that high of, the, of a demand for it. So, some of the Halloween collections. So, you can see the Halloween collections, when, they, when the seasonal started, uh, we might have. You can see some of were asking for 50,000, that it was some time ago, and the price went all the way down to 100 bucks. So if you really, really want to sell it, eh, ask uh, uh, 50 bucks might do it. You could decide to sell it for 50 bucks right now, or you could decide to save it and uh, sell it in uh, six months for a hundred times that. You decide. 
sometimes I'll uh, like you can see I have a whole bunch of uh, of uh, materials that I I saved to be able to sell later, but sometimes I'll just forget collections or I'll forget items on some of my characters. Like I have uh, I have a lot of characters as I'm sure some of you know, and sometimes I'll 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 look at the inventory of one one of my mini characters and I'll realize oh I have a whole bunch of stuff that I forgot I had and then I sell those uh, on the broker for a lot of cash. So we already have the cassette there for 50 bucks. I try to usually put only one item at a time unless I really want to I really don't care. Uh, in this case I guess I don't care. There we go. I usually try to put only one item and then when it sells then I put the other one and also that first item may give me an idea of the price like if somehow the uh, the item sells in like two minutes then I'll put it I'll put the next one at a, at a slightly higher price but if, if the item stays there for three days then I'll put the other item at half the price it always depends so here we have one at 500,000 we'll ask for 300,000 Again, you may think uh, that's not a lot of money. You sell, you sell 10 like that, you made 3 millions. And if you farm for a long time, you will sell a lot. You will have a lot of collections to sell. Also, you want to be able to sell those collections. If you're farming for collections, you want to sell the collections you have as quickly as possible so that then you can sell the new collections that you're going to gather. So you don't want those collections to stay there forever. So here we get the Steelworks communication antenna for 600,000. So in this case, I'll go for 300,000. So again, research data. So you see, we got the research data twice. So if we were able to get it twice, either we got really, really lucky, which usually isn't the case, or it's probably not an item that is that rare, but for some reason, no one is selling it on the broker right now. The same for this one. No one is selling it right now, so we'll, we'll wait a bit. So the gyroscope, 600,000, 625, we'll go for 325. So we already have the spooky sound effects cassette. Uh, let's put it anyway. So again, the still work safety control unit. We don't know how much uh, people are asking for, so we'll wait a bit again. So Tibana's power supply. So again, as you can see, we got it twice. So it can't be all that rare. So already at uh, 300,000, we're pushing it a bit. But we'll see. If it doesn't sell, then next time I'll ask uh, maybe 200,000, 100,000. We'll see. So here we got the discarded Witch's Cauldron, $1,000. So again, we could hold on to it and try to sell it in three months for uh, 10 times that much, but we're not going to do that. So here we got the research data skids, 2 million. So we'll ask for 1 million. And also it gives us an indication for the other research data we got. So again, the research data cyborg, 2 million. Let's go for 1 million. By asking 1 million for the cyborg data, uh, there's two things that might happen. First, someone who needs it might decide, oh, 1 million, I'm willing to pay that price and just buy it. Or what could happen also is that the guy who's selling it for 2 million, he may see that, oh, someone else is, uh, is uh, selling it for 1 million. He could decide to purchase our cyborg uh, collection and then put it back on the broker for 2 million. No, Bruce Wayne, we're not joining your group, sorry. So we got a few still works uh, that we don't know how much to ask for those. So if you have an item that you're not sure about, uh, it's quite simple, you could decide to just wait. You don't have to sell it right now, you could decide to wait a bit. In this case, we know that the research data red torpedo, it can be that rare, we got it twice. So, but it doesn't seem to be available right now, so we're going to test our luck. And let's see if we can squeeze 5 millions out of that one. Also, there's a circumstances. Uh, if you're desperate for cash and you need to sell right now, then ask for a low amount. 
if you're if you're not desperate for cash and if you're willing to wait and wait for quite a while to get the, the maximum amount of cash for your item uh, then ask for as much as you want and then just wait you may have to if you ask for a big amount you may have to put the item back two three times on the broker until you get your your amount so for the items we have left uh, we'll just wait a bit so you could decide to farm and farm, let's say, for the flash boots and hope to get the jackpot and sell it for 20 millions. Or you could decide to sell a whole bunch of uh, collections until you actually do get that amount. You decide which one you prefer. For the collections, even though we didn't get collections that were that valuable, if we sell a lot of them, we will make a bunch of cash. Like uh, you can see, with some, we have some we could sell for 2 million, 1 million, 5 millions. So if those all sell, we'll have made a small amount of cash. So you decide, either you try to hope to get lucky to get the one item that's worth a lot of money, or you, send a whole, you sell a whole bunch of smaller items and build up your cash like that. And again, at the end of the day, like even if you manage to get lucky enough to get the flash boots, okay, you're gonna make 20 millions off that one item. So how many flash boots can you get in one day? I've seen people who told me they were able to get uh, three, four, five uh, items like the flash boots or the Batwoman cape if they farm all day the, the, the missions. So if you manage to get five pair of flash boots in one day, then yeah, you made a hundred million, assuming you sell them all. But usually I go for the safer bet where I gather a whole bunch of collections and I sell a whole bunch of them on a broker. And again, sadly, you are not going to sell only one item. You are going to sell a lot of them. I know this isn't the answer that the, most of you guys probably want to hear. Uh, sadly, that is that is how you make money in this universe online. You have to farm for valuable items and then sell those items on the broker. And sadly, I cannot give you a list of the valuable items because that changes all the time. At some point, the flash boots were worth maybe 2 million. Now they're worth 220 million. Okay, maybe if at some point they'll come up with a full flash suit and everyone will want to have the flash boots. Uh, so that might drive the price even more and the same with let's say the batwoman cape like uh, recently we got the flashpoint batman emblem i guarantee you that drove the price of the batwoman cape up but you never know what they're going to release in the future they could release a uh, let's say a flashpoint batman uh, style and that could drive the price of the batwoman cape down or they could release a, a future flash uh, style and again drive the price of the the, the boots uh, the flash boots down if there's some flash boots included with the, the future flash style, then yeah, people would need the, the flash boots as much. So at the end of the day, the broker works with supply and demand, and uh, there are things that will affect the supply or the demand. I know this isn't the video you guys have wanted. Uh, you probably expected uh, something like uh, press the square three times and you'll have a billion dollars. Uh, sadly, it doesn't work like that. If you want to have money in this universe online, there's no miracle solution. You have to work for it. I know that this may seem alien to some of you guys. And I guarantee you, in the neck of the wood where I come from, it is alien. Where I come from, people believe that everything comes down to luck. Either you're lucky, you're lucky or you're unlucky. So if you get, I don't know, 500 millions, it's because we're lucky. It's not because you had to work hard for it. Uh, sadly, I can tell you that that's not really true. Yeah, you have to put the work in. And even if you get lucky and get and get maybe one item that's uh, uber rare and uber uh, expensive, okay, you're gonna make one time uh, 600 millions on a broker. What after that? What happens after that? Odds are you're not going to be lucky all that much all and all that often. That's also why I kind of prefer to farm for collections as opposed to hoping to get the one uber rare uh, valuable item uh, because usually i'm not really lucky uh, and that applies not just to this universe online so throughout the years i've learned that if i want to have something i could i could wait and hope to get lucky and it happens or i could just roll up my sleeves and work and work and work and make it happen i guarantee you the second option is uh, it's pretty much what i had to do my whole life so I hope, uh, even though it's not what you guys wanted to hear, I um, well, hope it makes some kind of sense uh, for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this Universal Online at this point. 
So if I don't answer your question right away, just search my videos. Odds are I already made a video that answered your question. And that's going to be pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.